around 10 40 a.m um and today i have quite a few things i'm going to be doing just this week in general to be honest so i am so i will be going to the gym this morning i've started running five kilometers every single day and i'm trying to do a five for five so five kilometers five, five times this week um <coughs> ooh, ooh. my goodness so five kilometers five times this week and then later on i'm going to do my nails and get a really really nice lux pedicure like Oh my god, it's like I needed this pedicure. I have needed it for a minute now. So I so I will be doing that. As you can see, I'm really tired. I haven't really got much sleep for a different reason. So I haven't I will talk about that in a different video, hopefully. But um let's just look at my skin first. My skin's actually looking pretty decent to be honest. Um so yeah, I am going to do so gym pedicure and uh, manicure and okay guys so yeah i'm currently at the gym right now i'm about to run on the treadmill as you can see over there and then i'm going to use, do some weights but first i'm going to do some stretches just to get my body you know loosened up and um yeah i'm really really tired but i'm trying to push myself this week Whew. i probably will see you guys in when i'm done i'm going to go get ready do some skincare and then head over to the nail shop so in a bit okay guys so i'm going to get my pedicure done right now i just came back and my appointment is let me sit down my appointment is for two so i kind of have to go um i will see you guys in my next
feel like I didn't end the vlog properly from yesterday, but I was super, super tired. So I basically went to get my manicure and pedicure done. My appointment was at 2 p.m. I went straight after the gym. I didn't really have time to, you know, vlog. But I will definitely insert clips of the nail boutique in Klee. So, so good, guys. That's the only nail shop I would recommend in Lagos, just because I feel like it's it just does what it needs to do. So I got the Luxury Paraffin Wax, um, it's so so good, oh my goodness, they put this hot wax on your feet and then they cover it for some time and it just helps to add some moisture, like when you think of wax you think okay they're gonna peel it off but they don't, it just adds like deep moisture to your um, feet and my feet look so good and yeah I absolutely love 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 doing it. So that's what I did and I came back, I had lunch because I was very hungry, I had lunch, but not lunch, Early dinner at like five, six, and then I went to chill with my parents for a bit. But um, hopefully, I'll vlog today a bit better. This morning, it's around 8:50, I think, or 8:40. I'm currently editing a video, which I'll be showing you guys very soon. Um, it's probably going up today if the Wi-Fi permits me. Like the Wi-Fi has been very slow this past few days, so I, w I haven't been able to put anything out yet. But um, yeah. So I'm editing a video. I've actually finished the main video. I'm just trying to do the promo video to post on my Instagram and on my Twitter account. Um, and it's Kemby Vibes with two eyes. Um, so I'm doing that right now. After that, I'm going to go gym. After that, I have to sort out a few things, logistics, before I go out for dinner with my mom. So I'm taking my mom out for dinner today, which I'm really happy about because it's always nice to do things together. Um, so yeah, we'll be going out for dinner later on, probably early dinner, like six. Uh, hopefully I would vlog that but um, yeah guys I'll see you guys soon okay guys so I'm just obviously trying to add the finishing touches to this promo video um, it's 9.40 and I'm practically almost done I'm actually done I'm just about to uh, save the media but yeah so this is how my media setup usually looks like on Adobe Premiere Pro Cut um, I just have all of these, I think they're called bins, so all the video clips and things I need to add, like my Instagram logo, the YouTube logo and stuff like that, and then I just put it on here and I work. And it's so crazy because the first time I remember looking at this, I was like, what do these things even mean? I'm just so happy with how far I've come. So yeah man, this video is probably going up today. Alright, so I just finished filming this um, makeup look. Yeah, it's probably going to be my no foundation um, makeup routine. I'm about to film another look. Actually, sorry, I'm about to film another video. <gasps> what? Okay. I'm about to film another video, and that's probably going to be the least favorite music videos, Afrobeat edition. So I'm just taking a break right now. I'm going to change and then shoot the next video. But yeah, man, this is pretty much the look. Um, it's really, really nice. It's very glowy. I don't know if you, you're catching on. It's a bit of contour and highlight, but it's it's really nice. Um, yeah, man. <music> by Chef Liu and if you don't know Crafts Gourmet is in Mega Plaza I think that's like Kofoa Bayomi in Victoria Island VI for short um, and we went there and it's on the third floor getting there obviously is not really like a hassle or anything you, there's parking space you know you get in you get upstairs it's usually very quiet and cool and cold. I really like Crafts Gourmet. I think it's definitely one of my top restaurants um, in Nigeria. Um, it's just really nice. very reasonable. The options, my goodness. I think one of the only 
things I would say I don't like about the restaurant, which is not necessarily a bad thing because everyone's different. But for me, it would be the fact that I think that menu is 11 pages. I think that's a bit ridiculous. They have everything and anything. Like, I think they probably even have pizza on that menu. Like, there's like burgers, salads, and the salads, they're like 10 options for salads. You know when they just give you bountiful, just amount of options, you know? Like, how do restaurants like Crafts Gourmet focus on one thing if they are making so many things? Like, that's my only question for them. But Chef Lou is really good. And the favorite, my favorite thing about the restaurant is their dessert. They have the best cheesecake in Lagos. First time I went to Crafts Gourmet to actually dine in, because usually I would just order the cheesecake. So to finally dine in, I had to come back the next day because I was like, oh, Goodness, one of the best salads in Lagos, decent price. So my mom and I went out, and um, my mom got like a seafood sea bass kind of fillet with some fries, and I got Jamaican curry with rice. And the portion was a lot; we couldn't finish it. We were full. Um, that being said, whilst we we're waiting for the food to come, they served us like some sweet potato chips, thinly sliced, and I thought they were really nice. I absolutely love the house. The house is the place you go to when you land Lagos and you just want something to eat and you want somewhere to chill, like straight from the airport. The house is really, really good. So the concept of the house, like the name describes, is like a house. How in your, let's say in a, your father's house, you would have like um, the dining room, you could have like his work room, you could have like a study room kind of piece. So they're like different rooms and I think different rooms have different prices. I am not too sure, but I think there's like a minimum spend in certain rooms. And then, you know, every room is designed differently. There's some rooms that like, looks like, there's a white room. There's a white room that looks like a club, I think. I'm not like a club, but like, like a club in. Then the dining room is very intense. There's a long dining table. So yeah, and then they have like some other private rooms upstairs too. But I think the concept is really nice. I always go to Crafts Gourmet to have their smoky party jollof and that smoky turkey. Oh my goodness. Crafts turkey, wow. I love it. Like I think, I've only ever tried the burger um, oxtail sliders and that was okay. My friend had that and she didn't really like it and I'll tell you why she didn't like it. I think the problem with the beef sliders was that when you're making like a burger or something that is very rich and creamy, press personally I would prefer to have a bit of acidity or texture to cut through. So it was like oxtail that was already you know pulled apart almost like a pulled pork texture with some liquid cheese cream like the burger sauce so there wasn't any other layer like if they added like maybe pickled onions or jalapeno crunchy caramelized onion just to cut through all of that rich fat i think that would have made the food better so after a while after like the second one you're kind of like it's just too much in my mouth and there's nothing to really cut through all of that fat. But apart from that, I really do like the house. I'm um, going to the house. I feel like every time I go to the house, I see someone I know. Like I always see someone I know, which I don't really mind per se because it's a chill spot, chill kind of vibe. The food, I think the price is very decent. The cocktails are nice. I advise people if you want to start off eating at the house, take two shots and just go from there. You have their Long Island and that would work perfectly too. So yeah, the house is really good. I would definitely recommend in terms of budget and like location. Actually, the location is very weird. I forgot to talk about that. Like the house is very con 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 con. It's like inner caucus of I think VI and I always think it's in Lekki but it's in VI and it's just like, like getting there. I don't even know how to get there to be honest. But yeah. Doing a shop, Mohammed.
making noise. <laughs> What's that? Please let me come make it now. Oh, me. Ox is the hottest place in Lagos right now. Everybody you know passes through Ox to go out on a Saturday or Friday night. It has become the new W bar for a lot of people and especially within my age group. Like I really like Ox, like the layout of Ox. Um, I love the design on the wall. They have a huge painting on the wall of like, it looks like a French Renaissance. It also looks like Adam and Eve. I don't know angels. I don't know what's going on there, but like I think they're naked women across. Yeah, there's a whole lot going on the wall. And then you have the big Ox um, head um, emblem like around the uh, restaurant then outside dining is also there which I like the service is pretty decent a bit slowish because when they're packed it takes a bit longer for things to come but let's talk about the food okay so the first day we went to Ox because I went with my friends <sighs> I don't want to talk too badly on this restaurant because I just feel like the restaurant is new and I should really give them the benefit of the doubt like I do for most um, other restaurants so I think I would say that the food just wasn't it the yam was undercooked the fries undercooked the chicken strips chicken whatever because we got a platter and one thing I've noticed in Nigeria is don't order a platter in Nigeria just don't do it okay you know maybe not Nigeria in Lagos just don't it's just not value for money every single time I've ordered a platter I've regretted it I'm not joking I'm not joking so I think we ordered a platter to share because we, we weren't really hungry. So we had like a platter, we had like um, jollof fries and chips. When I say that was arguably one of the worst jollof fries I've ever eaten in Lagos, and I honestly thought that that was the worst jollof fries. So I went to another restaurant, which I'll mention in a different vlog, that jollof fries was atrocious. But right, the jollof fries was just not jollofing at all. <sighs> and we basically called the manager and he packed up a lot of stuff and i think we complained i think maybe they took out from the bill i don't really know what happened but apart from that the drinks were really good um the cocktails were nice um i couldn't drink alcohol that day which just wasn't you know feeling like drinking it so my friends had shots they had a glass of wine and some cocktails i had like a mocktail so that was fine for me um but yeah i think the the food was pretty bad but the drinks were good and then the second time I went to Koi we just got their lollipop chicken and fries and let me tell you that lollipop chicken whoo, spicy spicy like I was sweating everybody eating like whoo my mouth so I had like an allergic reaction to something like two days before so I already had like a rash around my lips so the pepper everything was just intensified so i was just like oh my god oh wow it was hot but it was very tasty and um, the chips were decent this time around so yeah and the alcohol was fine so i think i would definitely say that they're starting off so i'm just going to give them the minute for the doubt but i would definitely be doing an update review on um ox
absolutely loved everything about pit stop from the creation to the planning to the outline to the food to the service to the location i love pit stop i think pit stop is definitely top five restaurants for me in lagos at the moment and the reason why i say i haven't seen any restaurant that is as intentional as pit stop like the detailing in the restaurant my goodness down to the cutlery table the tissue holder the detailing i was like wow i went to pit stop like three times in one week the first day i went i went with my brother and my sister in law and we we're all impressed i had to come back again i was like wow <laughs> the first day i went my sister in law ordered um chicken burger thigh i think and with fry put two chicken burger thighs sorry chicken thighs um in the burger then my brother ordered steak with jollof fries and that jollof fries is second to the house or probably as good as the one in the house really really tasty absolutely loved it would definitely recommend i got a salad the first day and the salad was massive but i really actually liked that salad it just tasted like condiments you're about to use when you're cooking jollof fries the type of vegetables they, they chose wasn't my you know my choice i wouldn't have picked those but like cool um the second day i went i ordered the pop chops with the pop grinds and applesauce with the side of jollof fries really 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 nice and then my friend ordered something from the lean menu but he didn't really like it because that was on him you know it wasn't tasting bad it just wasn't feeling i guess in terms of portion size or oh, i actually don't know if it, if it tasted bad because i didn't taste it but the pork chops was amazing i was like wow the portion is i think the portion and the value for money is really good i i, I honestly think that you know with um pit stop you get more value for your money than any other restaurant the portion like they will give you like two pieces of lamb chops two pieces of um steak two pieces of anything like everything is like double do you know what i mean so yeah i would definitely tell you it's a really nice place to go to with family and friends and i really hope they keep up the consistency <laughs> restaurant is blowfish wow blowfish is like a group of restaurants there is there's a pan asian one called um wok or woks by blowfish there's another one called um la veranda i think it's an italian restaurant and the last one i don't really know what they do i think it's like finger food like chips burgers and like stuff like that because that's the menu that's the type of menu i've seen so you could either choose to sit upstairs inside the glass where it walks is and it's a pan-asian restaurant so they have like thai menu indian menu and chinese menu and then you could sit close to the water side like the pool so i've sat in all three places and i think personally for me depending on the kind of vibe you're going for either inside the glass or outside close to the pool is my vibe upstairs not really because i like to go to blowfish on a wednesday they have this live band performance and i absolutely love it the woman's voice is phenomenal the band is good every time they sing to me i'm just like hey, 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 hey. <laughs> genuinely i love when they come to meet and they sing for me um i really like bluefish the food okay um so i haven't eaten at the veranda because when i went there and i saw the menu i just literally walked back downstairs i was like nope it's not happening i just didn't like the menu per se uh because i didn't want to eat pasta and i didn't want to eat pizza so if it's an italian restaurant there's only so much you can get from that so i went to the thai restaurant walks and i really loved it 
the first time I went it was really really good the portion size was phenomenal I was really impressed the second time I went with family and friends it wasn't as impressive which was a letdown because I had really recommended this restaurant to people we all came with the hopes that the food would be on the same part as it was the first time I went but it wasn't so that was a letdown but the vibe was still there the bill though they literally charged us 5,000 naira per shot there were 10 of us and each shot cost 5,000 naira and we had like three rounds so you do the calculation it was quite pricey by the time the bill came we were like whoa I can't even use my mouth to say what the price was but yeah it was very hefty um, so yeah I was shocked that it was quite pricey because I didn't expect it to be that pricey but it was it was it was on Fridays and that particular Friday I don't know why but the whole of Lagos was there literally I was sitting down and people were waving to at me through the glass they were like, just like oh hi or people were pulling up to my table like hello i saw people haven't seen in 10 years church members like people were seeing their neighbor i was like what's going on here why is the whole of lagos here i don't know but yeah so that night everybody was in bluefish and i just don't know what's going on but wednesdays is cooler you know the live band is playing and i would definitely recommend that you should take either your spouse, significant other, someone you like, anybody, your parents, down to Bluefish on a Wednesday night and have a cool time. The performance is really good. Um, and yeah, I particularly like it. It's going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully I will put up more vlogs. Do comment down below because I want to know what your thought was on this vlog. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.